مرحبا Starting today, we will embark on a new journey with a series of a series of tolerant but enduring episodes. The ABC of SIGAPS. Episodes associated with Los Osos mode of operation, our ways and methods and notions on how and by how we refer to the means, the mode and the routine to smoke a cigar. The language we will be using is without over cleverness and the approach is without fixed rules or preconceptions. Rather, it will be a display of the essence of our experience and our diligent follow-up on everything has to do with this beautiful wide world, cigars. The subject or purpose of this series of episodes is how can we enjoy our cigars more in a more pleasing and rewarding manner. In the world of cigars, everything is not staple except for these two constants. The first constant, nothing is constant. The second constant, cigar, is a personal experience that has no limits or rigid rules. The third constant... Uh, we thought there are only two constants. Well, the third one just occurred to me. No? May I? No? Yes. Ah, okay, go ahead. Do not smoke a cigar without caring for yourself. Do not be apologetic and do not compromise. Smoke when you simply want to, and do not smoke when you deem it inappropriate. For instance, when you are tired, unfit, and irritated, like you are most of the time, etc., etc. For Qasim, the best time for cigars, and I quote, when I am alone. Exactly. A little off from the open box and from the obvious and being the first episode, we, Eli and I, decided that this episode will be streamlined without complexity or show off. The most treasured topic to the mind and the heart of every cigar smoker is how do we choose the first cigar or our first batch of cigars? Okay. And how to do it without pretentious professionalism, strictness, exaggerations, but with the extraction of the best and easiest ways for a successful early smoke without serious error. An error when the smoker, the novice, has an unpleasant first cigar and subsequently is turned off. What's, wait, 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 what's wrong with you? After this whole introduction, what did you really comprehend? This particular one, Eli, do not hold to. Let go from your hand. Why, Qasim? It looks fine. It's large, shiny, uh, and appealing, yeah. and it's a cohiba. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is not for you to smoke, Eli, nor for anyone. Why? We will come to that during this episode. The first rule to buy a cigar is to buy it from an authorized dealer or a shop, a specialized cigar shop, not a petrol station nor a highway supermarket. A respectable store with an excellent reputation run by respectable, knowledgeable tobacconists. I will open a parenthesis here by going back to our statement or your statement, Asim, on not to smoke a fake. And I will demonstrate why two major reasons for that. You will not be truly smoking what you intend to smoke. And secondly, whatever the forger presented you is not prime tobacco, nor professionally rolled, and it is likely a toxic substance. We urge you not to smoke fake cigars. I add here, Fake cigars are no real cigar. They are meant for people who want to display fume, despite it is hurtful. You can't claim to be a smoker, be it beginner or experienced one, and get to smoke a forge or fake cigar. You will waste a few dollars in a time on a wrap of rice in parchment paper, while you better get your mother to cook for you than waste your money on trivial leaves. This is a long, ongoing topic, and we will be dealing with this topic in all its aspects 
and once for all. The second rule, as a novice, you are owed to exclude the regional editions, the limited, the reservas, and so on. Focus on the regular releases. There is absolutely no reason to spend slash wasting more money on fancy naming, at least not until you become a wise, experienced cigar smoker. A third rule, you ask and answer yourself the following. When would I want to smoke my cigar? Morning coffee, lunch, after lunch, squeezing, dinner. How much time do I really have? 20 minutes, 40, an hour, more? Your answers to this question in particular determine the Vitola you want to buy, a Corona or a smaller, a Robusto or large. Or large. Yeah. Allow me to add a fourth rule. Add, yeah. It is not necessary that the expensive cigars is your requirement, nor the cheap cigars. I'm, I'm not saying neither. There are a lot of wide parentheses in between, so it is preferable that you adhere to an average standard for choosing your first group of cigars. And the fifth rule Come on. would be the external appearance hold all the signs. That is why you need to observe well and examine your stick slash box before you decide to buy it. Hajj will give us points to use when we examine a cigar. Okay, a cigar is composed very briefly of three types of leaves, filler, binder, and wrapper. You are interested in the outer wear, the shirt, or the wrapper. General appearance inspection, easy and not complicated. Any spots or worrisome marks, such as a green rock, that mean over, over humidification, cracks in the shirt, dehydration, or splashes, needle tips. Or a strange, unpleasant smell, usually a musty odor. Any sign of the above should set you on alert. And one important piece of etiquette, you better adhere to, remember that you haven't bought a cigar yet. Any contact with a cigar without the prior permission of the seller is an undesirable move, so stick to visual inspection. However, after purchasing a cigar, it is necessary that you feel okay to rectify a situation where there is a problem with the jewel either due to a soft spot or a hard spot. Then, you may address the seller and explain your observations and worries. In general, any decent professional seller who is knowledgeable will, at his discretion, respond to your request and allow you to replace your cigar. Exactly. It is preferable that you do not ask to get your money back. Never do that. One last tip, and contrary to most cigar bloggers, do not underestimate your nicotine tolerance, nor your taste glands, meaning it's not necessary because you are a new smoker that you should avoid strong cigars. This is wrong. On the contrary, this issue is only related to your sense of your taste and your ability to tolerate nicotine, what we call nicotine tolerance. You may be a new smoker, but you will like full and strong nicotine. It's quite natural. You go to brands tagged as full strength. Let no one tell you other than that. With emphasis, if you are a full strength cigar smoker, then you have requirement that you must consider the quality of food, the fullness, if you are drinking, etc., etc. We will come to that in coming episodes. Yeah. Now that we have hopefully assisted you in buying a cigar, soon we will demonstrate how you light, cut, and enjoy your cigar. Until then, stay tuned, have fun, and enjoy your cigar. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. Follow us.